Todd Fife. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you for you. being with us. Thank we you for letting me be a part. Yes, Valley Data Magazine, and um, we honored to be sitting here speaking with you. So, um, to get into this, we want to know how did you end up actually working with Def Def Squad Records? Oh, I was actually um, with Eric uh, in late 94, 95, producing mm -hmm. under him. Uh, I think I left probably like 97, kind of always was in the mix with him, you know? Right. right. So how did the conversation, though, to come back into the mix of with Death Squad? Uh, he called me. He was <laughs> like, yo, we got, it's crazy over here. We got a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Could use you. Okay. So what up and coming projects do you have right now and what can we expect from you in the future? Uh, basically, I've been uh, submitting for Fabulous. Um, uh, I worked on uh, one of the Death Squad groups, um, the Young Fellas, uh, Young Prophet, um, a lot of stuff, uh, Eric's album. Okay. Um, uh, and I'm doing my own project. Uh, first putting out a remix project uh, called Narcotic Remixes, and then my own compilation on Death Squad. So, what does your own project entail? Like remixes? Of I'm remixing just about everybody's stuff, whether it's an uh, old artist, new artist, old record, new record, okay. whatever. All right. Trying to make new to stuff. It. Absolutely. Yeah. You're working with an artist, Mike Hands. Um, yeah, Mike Hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mike Hands, uh, Ali Vegas. He's on the Death Squad. Um, okay. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of artists on the Death Squad. Gotcha. In regards to Mike Hands, though, how is his work ethic, his talent, he's, his He's abilities? extremely dope. He's extremely talented. Um, accurate in what he's doing. He know he knows exactly what he wants. Okay. And uh, we're just there to really just mold his product to another level. What does he bring to the table? How does he? Uh, just his flavor, mm -hmm. which is really dope. You know. Hardcore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, describe it as hardcore. That's, I mean, he's, he's gangster, so okay. you know we we do that music all day. <laughs> What's your favorite track off of um Mike Mike Hands Blacklist? I like right? all his music. There's not so, one specific that like is really all heavy. my people. I like all all, all, all everything. Music. Yeah. So you can say the whole album we can rock to. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. What would you say to the younger generation that feels like the boom bap era of hip hop is no longer relevant? To the younger generation. I see their point of view, but they could never say that it's not there because it's always been there. Mm -hmm. They never left, and it's actually coming back harder now. It's weird because, like, you might go somewhere, uh, Australia or Germany. That's all they want to hear is that, that is music. Right. When you go out of overseas, it's, yeah, that's what and, and then there's a lot of people. People don't even know like Kendrick does boom bap. Mm -hmm. Like that's some of the hottest people that's out today still do that great music it's just they i don't know it's more it's, it's you know to me the game is starstruck mm -hmm. it's like more whoever's than, hot they just go after that's, that's it. what's going on not even necessarily listening to what they do they don't really or, know what's going on mm -hmm. they just think that's what's going on but what if you had an artist who doesn't know what's going on come to you and say they want to record with you what would you do i mean i just kind of show them my own direction you know mm -hmm. i'm not saying that it would just be boom bap mm -hmm. i'm not saying it would just be Gangster rap or a trap, you know, it's whatever I feel is gonna make the artist take them to another level. And that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yep. Gotcha. Explain the difference between a beat maker and a producer. Okay, a beat maker is someone that actually just makes a beat. Mm -hmm. They made the beat. That's it. They didn't make the artist. A producer produces it's what you put out, what you bring out. Mm -hmm. When an artist is there, how you bring the best out of them, get them to deliver their vocal, get them to deliver the song. Uh, the finished product is part of a producer's job. Like the overall sound and, you know, polishing of the product. Mm -hmm. Partly, I wouldn't say engineering, but to a certain extent, it's engineering. Okay. And you know what I mean? Like uh, it's, it's sort of also in the lines of songwriting because making a track it's partly, the beat is 50%, so it's kind of like you writing a song along with it. And then when producers produce, they have the beat, the track, and the artist. They're kind of like, and when you're arranging it, or you're mixing, and you're doing edits, 
it's, just, it's, it's, it's like it has dynamics, so it's song right. structure. Right. You know what I mean? I definitely understand what you mean. Is there anything else you want to say to the viewers about producing or, uh, you know? Got more music coming out. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. No problem. Right. Thank you.